All right, all right, all right. It's Kevin Garcia, a.k.a. the Puerto Rican Kid, KG. This is Fight Hype. We've got Jim Lampley. We just saw here a press conference today between Tank Davis, who seemed very animated, and a game, and uh, what seems like ready, uh, Frank Martin. But what are your thoughts on this press conference and some of the stuff that happened here today? Some of it's theater. Some of it is real and comes from legitimate feeling, probably more of it's theater. Uh, I asked Tank Davis, I said, you, you know, you put on quite a show and were very assertive trying to get under Frank's skin. And do you think that you succeeded? He said, yeah, I think so. He said, but he saw it coming. Uh, I said, uh, was some of it about you being the puncher and wanting him to get angry enough to be aggressive enough to make the kind of mistake that might play in your favor? And he said, of course, absolutely. So. Um, smart, in, uh, an intelligent approach. I give him credit. Uh, at the end of the day, I got along really well with Tank Davis, and I wasn't sure that was going to be the case. And uh, still waiting to interview Frank Martin. Why did you think that that might not be the case with you and uh, Tank? Never met him before. Okay. Oh, that was your first time. Yeah, it was the first time I'd met him. You know, uh, his arc as a fighting star um, is since. I called fights on HBO. So this is the first time I've seen him since I've been back at ringside for PPV.com. Uh, and not only have I never met him before, but he comes from the Mayweather culture. And not everybody in the Mayweather culture has always been positively oriented or uh, desirous of being friendly with me. Uh, although the professionals like Leonard Ellerby, like Floyd really, I get along with them, uh, but there were some others who didn't love my uh, presentation or the things that I would say about their fighter. There you go. Now, what do you think about Frank Martin and his reaction to some of this? Did he seem rattled to you or did he seem like Frank was getting in his head a little bit? I wouldn't say that. Um, I think it was showbiz and uh, I think uh, Frank Martin was smart not to um, loudly or obstreperously try to go back at Tank uh, in the same way with the same volume and get into one of those situations where they might scuffle or grab each other and wrestle around, etc. I think it was intelligent to avoid that. Uh, you got to fight tonight. Get ready. Go do it. There you go. Well, so last question for you. How do you see Frank and Tank playing out? We're, you know, about a month away at this point. Well, I, th I think that um, logic tells you that Tank has to live up to the persona of being the puncher. Even if he doesn't feel like he is the puncher in the fight, he's got to do it because that's the way he's been sold to the public and aggressively so. And he probably is the puncher in the fight. Probably is the guy with the uh, biggest opportunity by far to land a, uh, a fight changing shot and, uh, and put uh, Martin away with power. That tells you that the more rounds it goes, the more it plays in Martin's favor. Whether it is correct or not, he's cast by psychological circumstances as the boxer in the fight. So it's probably gonna behoove him to box and, and be as good and as crafty and as smart and as elusive and as selective in his punching opportunities as it can be. Who do you got winning the fight? I think Tank is the favorite for a logical reason. There you go. Well, you heard it from Jim himself. Thank you so much. We appreciate you here on Fight Hype. All Peace. right. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. All right now. Puerto Rican.